All right, guys, sorry. Today I have this tuck tuck with Nor Lanka Travels, the owner of the guest house, the hotel I'm staying at. It's their company, and they kind of specialize with Norwegians, but no. They speak good English too, so you can go with them. And he brought me to this beach that has this really famous sea temple. I'm gonna try to get a closer look for you guys, but it's a really, really cool history where a lot of the fishermen are spending like weeks, sometimes even months at sea. So they always come and pray to this god before they go. Let's take a look. What is this temple? This is temple Sinigama. Mm -hmm. temple, uh, we, we, be, we believe in gods also. Mm -hmm. So uh, always when we cross this area and we put the coin and make a wish, don't make any trouble to us in the journey. Okay, good. So that's the thing I done. No trouble to us in the journey, please. Look at this beautiful fruit platter. Hello. Hello. This is this for you to eat or for the gods? Why is it? Oh, yeah. Nice fruit. This is for So supposedly, he's a, is he a priest or what is he? Yeah, he's praying. He's praying, and he's uh, people they come and uh, visit the court and say they have trouble, something like that. Okay. To us. So he's the guy who uh, he's alive. Like, he, has, he has contact with the gods. Yeah, supposedly. What is happening here? So they, that's also the same thing. Uh, they're going to uh, give some uh, arms, like arms giving. You mm. know? So they uh, put some veg, uh, mostly food, mm. food uh, because God always we give uh, food, not any meals. Okay. And is this every day or do we come on a special yeah. day? They they do every day. Okay. And and what kind of temple is this? This is a Sinigama temple. Name okay. of Sinigama temple. Uh -huh. uh, belong to the God. We call it Devil God. Okay. So he's a guy uh, we believe uh, uh, protect cuts in around coastline. Oh, so nice. every every fisherman go uh, come here uh -huh. before they go to uh, fishing uh -huh. because some people stay in many many days in the deep sea. Mm. So they don't have any protection, you know. Okay. Only they they can uh, wish to go and say save us. Mm. That's the thing. That's why we go to this temple. Yeah. The beautiful temple of the sea. All right, so I've walked basically from the temple to the furthest we can go to the temple without crossing by ocean. Supposedly not many people are allowed there. 
So whoever's on the boat's a very fortunate people, but luckily we have a bird to show you. And now for this walk back. So I was just saying that these coconut trees are awesome because they're so low so you can, I mean literally, <laughs> you can just grab a tree. But you're saying it's a hybrid? Yeah, because it's normal coconut trees, they grow everywhere, they take a little bit long time mm -hmm. to have coconut. Uh, normally I think it's around 8, 10 years, something okay. like that. But this one, around 5 years. Oh wow. Yeah. So it can be very short still, so you can yeah. grab it? Yeah. And is it still like a tambouli or? No, 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 it's a king, uh, coconut. It's not a king coconut, but king coconut also have uh, like this size also. They also have yeah, it? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, guys, I want a coconut tree like this in my yard, so I don't have to try to climb. You know, you guys you guys know, normally it's so high. Yeah, yeah. But this one, even Johnny can, uh, can just grab one. <laughs> Still can't open it though. You can, you can buy like these plants, uh, they have some special places they sell in. It's not much expensive. Okay. If I, uh, I don't know, you can bring home or not. <laughs> no, if I end up buying a house in Sri Lanka, I'm definitely gonna get these. Alright guys, so I'm at the Hikadua Sunday Market. This is every Sunday, every week. People, uh, locals come for fruits and vegetables and I'm gonna show you guys around. This is supposed to be the biggest one. It's a bit afternoon, so it's not as crowded as it normally is a bit earlier, but I don't want it to be too crowded to be honest. Let's go. So right when you walk in, you can see there's a ton of vegetable markets or sellers. And this goes all the way down. So let's actually take a look down here. Hello. New product, Rose Apple Jam. Rose Apple Jam. Yes. Awesome. All right. So, I love these old traditional balance scales. How cool is that? And I, it's hard to explain how big this place is, but trust me, I have a feeling already. It's like one of the bigger markets in Sri Lanka. Lots of yelling going on as well. I really love that these old balance scales are being used in these I have no idea what they're saying. This guy just has a big pile of cash on the ground. How funny is that? So the one thing I really don't understand is why some people are yelling and why there's so much noise. Like, I've been to a lot of markets and you don't really need to yell, you can just walk around and be like, okay, I want to buy a kilo of that. But here it's like, there's noise everywhere. It's really crazy. I don't know why. What are they saying, guys? Let me know. So as you can see, there's really no other foreigners here. I think the only foreigners that come here are the two expats who have lived here for many years, for like 10, 15 years. But it really, it's a local market for fruits and vegetables. That's a nice stuff though, look. Jackfruit. Uh, no, but jackfruit? Yeah. Okay. Can I have a jackfruit? One, 100? Jackfruit. Yeah, but just a little bit? Uh, 100? 
I'm buy some jackfruit. Right here. Let's see how much the budget gets me. Okay. Can I have a? Can I buy just one hundred? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Just jackfruit, okay. Uh, no, no. Just like a one hundred. Okay, so there's a bit of miscommunication, but I guess he's giving me half a jackfruit for a hundred. It's good value. Okay. It's nice. I know that's okay. That's enough. Okay. I it's good too. I, I, I tried it already. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so actually, I think I accidentally scored half a jackfruit for a hundred. I don't actually know what the price is. I just... So one of the things I do when I don't know what the price is, I'll just say kind of a number. I say, can you give me 200 worth of bananas? Can you give me 100 worth of jackfruit? And sometimes they give you like a very, very small amount and they're like, oh, okay, actually give me 300 worth. But this time, I guess that was, I don't know. I guess, I don't know, is that the price? I have no idea. I have no idea what jackfruit's supposed to cost. So let me know in the comments. Very interesting market. It's definitely worth coming to if you happen to be here on a Sunday or if you want to buy some uh, fruits and vegetables for a good local price. They even have pomegranates. Are these from Sri Lanka? Mangoes. Mango. Papayas. Papayas. Here's the outdoor section. Really beautiful. So guys, just 10 minutes north of Higadua is a smaller town, Karelia, but this place was really badly affected by the tsunami back in 2004. So it's been 15 years, but it's still very fresh in people's minds. And this is the memorial where they actually buried probably thousands of the, the people they found because they didn't have enough grave sites for everyone. So literally just here on this beach, I mean, it's literally a beautiful beach, but can you, if you imagine that day, it was, it was devastating. So my tour guide Hassan, how old were you in 2004? Uh, I think around 16. Yeah. And now I'm 30. This January 20, I get in 32. Yeah. yeah. So even though it's been uh, 15 years, do you still remember that day? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everything I remember like today. <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry it happened, you know. Yeah. You can see that's a drawing. That's the happened. They draw because this time, it's around here, they hit in a train. Uh -huh. Around 2,000 people die around this area. Only yeah. this area. Just this area. Just this area. Yeah. Yeah, been, and even the train got flooded. Yeah, and here, after the ground railway. Wow. So I've been here in that time also, uh, next day. It's very yeah. crazy. But Sri Lankans are strong, they rebuild. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're still here. But it's good to remember. So I was talking to a tour guide, and one of the theories on why Hikadua and South wasn't as badly affected as it is basically north, going all the way past Pentota, is because in Hikadua and South, they, they, st they still have natural reef in place. But starting here, people harvested or took the coral reefs to break it down and sell it as carbon, uh, some kind of powder, I guess. Car I don't remember what it was called. But there was no more reef going all the way up. And a lot of people don't realize that reef isn't just, you know, for snorkeling or scuba diving. It's the best natural barrier and protection there is. So this is why we need to save our, our, scuba, our reefs. And as scuba divers, we see it best. I've seen in the 10 years that I've been diving, the coral reefs completely get destroyed around the world. Not just in Sri Lanka, but really everywhere. <laughs> and there's a kid here. I don't know if he's just playing, but this is literally his backyard. How crazy is that? So that train was actually flipped. So what, what is the what do they use the, the coral reef to, to sell for? Uh, make they make calcium carbonate. They make mm. paint. Oh, to make paint. Yeah, I think that's why it's really hitting around this area. Yeah. And people say wave also really high around this area. Oh, it's a shame. Yeah. yeah. Because the uh, train train is very heavy, you know, mm -hmm. many tons. Yeah. But engine is like a fly away. Wow. After the wave. 
Yeah, we missing the natural barrier. Yeah. Section. So after the tsunami, the country of Japan donated the money to build this giant Buddha, I guess, to maybe protect and uh, oversee Sri Lanka. Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold